So I'm Jonas Krogel, and I'm a technical product manager here at NetRounds. So I would like to just start, before going into demos, we would like to just discuss the architecture of our solution to better understand the demos later on. Our product consists of two different parts. The first part is the software, the control center, which is a central software that gives you a complete view of how the whole network is performing from a service uh, quality point of view. So the control center is where you uh, have a web GUI for doing basic configuration, looking at data, or accessing reports. But that's also where you have an API for integrating your automation tools. So we provide both a REST API and a NetConfyang API. Uh, and we have uh, uh, existing integrations with, with a number of tools in this space. The second part of our product are the test agents. So these are a software that is typically a virtual machine running on hypervisors. Um, or or um, it could also be a Docker container or uh, uh, even a bare metal box. But I'll come back to those alternatives in, in a minute. So the test agents are distributed in the network in strategic locations, which is either at customer sites or at data centers or other places of interest where you want to make sure that the network is always available with the, the correct um, quality. The test agents are then orchestrated to generate traffic between each other. So one test agent sends active test traffic to another test agent. That is one use case. But the same test agents may also be used to do external service requests. So accessing video streams, doing HTTP calls, DNS lookups, uh, SIP voice calls, and so on, and checking that they are working as they should. The third option for, for these is using reflection technologies to, to measure network backhauling performance, uh, typically to a router or an eNodeB in a mobile network. So that's the three types of, of traffic that test agents are, are generating. So the test agents are, as I said, in the, fun, in the base, it's a software. So we run as a virtual machine on KVM, VMware, OpenStack, a number of Cisco platforms. But it's also possible to run it as a bare metal um, software on a normal HP, Intel, or, or Dell server. Uh, we do also. Uh, provide a COTS option that, that we are, are providing, which is the same test agent but running on a um, certified and well-tested hardware. But it's the same software as you would run on the hypervisor or on another bare metal server. We also have a Docker option for running some tests inside um, cloud environments, and we also are able to run the full active test agent in the big public clouds, including Amazon Web Services, Google Cloud, and uh, Azure, of course. So in your earlier slide, you showed off a, uh, a Wi-Fi issue potentially mm -hmm. being an issue. Yep. Um, I'm curious, are you, would you use that hardware device to, uh, to connect to the wireless as a client at right. that point? Okay. So, so uh, troubleshooting the radio side would require mm -hmm. a physical box or some kind of test radio interfaces. So you can either have a, a virtual machine with uh, um, a Wi-Fi NIC or one of those standalone boxes. Perfect. Thank you. Are you V4 only or V6 as well? Great question. Um, so I'll cover that. <laughs> okay. So what the test agent is, is a zero-touch deployment software that you can spin up easily using orchestration scripts. So we support cloud in it. Um, so, so you provide a day zero configuration to it when you boot it. It's also quite small in the footprint. Um, so, so it only needs uh, 26 megs of RAM, one virtual CPU, and it boots in like 20 seconds, which I will demonstrate. And about the networking, yes, we, we do, do, do support dual stacks. So we, we support V4 and V6. Um, and we also do something called network interface card namespaces. So one test agent can have many NICs, and each of them has its own router table. And that allows us to do some, some pretty interesting uh, tricks, which I will cover uh, later on. Uh, and the same test unit also scales from being very, very small up until the largest instances. So this is just a simple screenshot of when we run on the, the new C5N machines in, in Amazon. So in this example, we were pushing close to 100 gig on a single NIC in Amazon. So same software all the way from very small up until the largest machines available. So to just 
get a better understanding of where you would deploy the test agents. This is a um, summary of potential deployment models. The first use case is that you could deploy it in the public clouds. And you could also deploy uh, one or a few at your on-prem clouds or data centers. And you would then monitor the uh, cloud interconnect links, because these are becoming more and more critical for, for running your network, since you're mixing on-prem and off-prem uh, uh, resources. Another common use case is monitoring of L2 and L3 VPNs. And this consists of that you deploy test agents either on branch CPs as software or hardware, and you measure how it uh, traverses the network to the, to the core part, or you deploy test agents in the core and you do reflection measurement to, to branch CPs. So then you're guaranteeing that the VPN is working end to end. Another use case is using the test agents for mobile backhaul and network slicing use cases. So you're doing reflection measurements towards, for example, eNode Bs or other core components in the network. And the fourth use case is putting a test agent um, on, on a Wi-Fi uh, network and sending traffic over the Wi-Fi all the way through the network to, to a core uh, test agents. So that's the uh, four common, common use cases that we cover.